So here's the challenge, and you laid it out really nicely. To deepen social connections, whether to turn you know acquaintances into allies, whether to turn strangers into friends, or whether just to sort of get a deeper connection with those we already love but but don't talk to that often, we need to reveal a little bit about ourselves, right? If if we call someone and all we say is, oh, you know, what'd you do today? What'd you do today? And we have this sort of fatic, nice kind of get to know you conversation. That that's good. It doesn't hurt. But it doesn't make us feel that that deep emotional connection. And so to do that, we need to reveal a little bit uh, things about ourselves. We need to be a bit vulnerable. We need to talk about some things that that show depth. But the challenge is to do that, we've got to already feel some sort of social connection, right? You know, if you walked up to someone and you said, hey, you know, what are three of your biggest fears? The person would be like, what? And even if it's a friend of yours and you call them up, you say, hey, hey, uh, you know, guy or gal, what, what, are, what are you worried? What are you deeply worried about in your life? They'd say, I'm not going to answer that question. And so you need to sort of build a base to, to get to that deep revelatory stuff. So, so how do you do that? There's a series of questions called the fast friends paradigm, which uh, asks a simple set of questions and then a more complicated set of questions and eventually an even deeper, more revelatory set of questions. But, but they lead people in sort of 45 minutes to feel more connected to anyone, whether it's a, a stranger uh, initially, whether it's someone that you already know. At the end of this uh, series of questions, you feel more like you, you deeply know this person. And the way it works is it starts safe uh, and then it builds. And what do I mean by that? Well, it starts really in a very basic, simple, non-revelatory way. You know, if you had to pick somebody to have dinner with, who, who anyone in the world, who, who would it be, right? That's an easy question that anybody can answer that doesn't feel too revelatory. But by asking some of these initial questions, revealing some small, simple, you know, beginning things about each other, we start to build trust. We go back and forth. I ask you, you ask me. I start to feel like I know you a little bit better. And now when we get to some more of the deep, more revelatory questions, we're both more willing to answer and, and play that game because we feel like we have that base to, to build from. And so don't start with the deep revelatory stuff and don't end up with the really sort of just surface level things. Start surface, use that to build a base, and from that base, get to the more deeper, more, more revelatory type of questions. And what I love is allowing an opportunity for both of you to share. So, so often we'll feel like, oh, if I just keep asking questions, maybe it's on a first date or maybe it's the first time hanging out and we're not revealing much about ourselves, right? We're doing follow-ups. You heard from the show, follow-ups are likable. I want to be likable. But if you're not revealing, that's the other piece to this. So if I were to call you and say, hey, Jonah, I've really been struggling with this deep fear of public speaking of mine. I've taken courses. I'm not sure about hitting record on the podcast. And I reveal that to you. If I go, hey, what have you been struggling with? You're more likely to think about something in that vein to, again, meet me in the middle, to mimic, to foster that connection. But if you're just asking a series of questions without divulging your answers, right? So the, the study was both sides participating. That's something that trips up a lot of our clients. And the work that we do is they get so excited for the magic word and the question to ask, the prompt, and they forget that it's a two-way street. You have to be sharing in the vulnerability to build that fast connection. Starting safe and building only works if both of you are sort of revealing things, right? If one person reveals a little bit, it makes the other person more comfortable with revealing, which makes the other person more comfortable and sort of it builds by by going back and forth. I, I think we all have friends. I can certainly think of one in my, my own life who is really interested in how my life is going and, and that's great. And they often ask me questions, but it's basically just like question after question after question. And it's nice in some ways. It suggests that they care, but I don't really have any understanding of how they're doing. And at a certain point, it feels a little bit forced, right? It feels almost like we're walking through an exercise rather than you're, you're really asking how I'm doing. And so it's very important to do a little bit of that back and forth and, and not just ask, but reveal as well.